Hello and welcome to Fixed Late Models at Lanier. This is going to function as some practice for race number two of the K5 Championship, because this is the exact combo we're going to be doing uh, for that race. So, saw it was going off, had about 30 plus people signed up to this one. Pitexic's clear, push. We've got two laps. Let's get this done. And, uh,. Hey, some early track time. Can't hurt anything, I hope. <laughs> green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time black. Interesting. Track seems like it might be a little bit cooler compared to one more lap. The practice I was in, because it seems a little bit tighter potentially. Oh, Gonzo, man. Never mind. I give us some sliding now. I think I just stink. <laughs> anyway. At least we got that first lap in. It was not awful, I guess. It's about what I could hope to run. My best was about a tenth higher, but... My expectations aren't too high. Still pretty inexperienced in this car. Still not very good at short track racing in general. So, not, uh, not too concerned about trying to get near the front or whatever. I'm the th number three, but I think top ten would be a successful time on, on the track. Um, especially if I can keep it clean. I'm a little bit concerned because I've seen some questionable actions. We'll just say that uh, beforehand, before coming out here. So we'll see. Hopefully everyone's taking this seriously. Hopefully we start on the inside. That would be nice. Right now we're in, in the position to do so, but still got more people waiting to get times in, I think. Well, it seems like we have quite a few. I'm just going to run around here for... A while until it's time to go. The way I'm doing it, might use a tiny bit of brake on entry, but you almost don't need to. And I know it's probably going to be good to be on the right rear. Though you can get loose too, so. I'm still just trying to figure out that balance. And when to get on the gas. It seems like sometimes I'll get on it a little bit too late, be a little slow on the throttle. But uh, I would prefer that, I guess, to early on the throttle and then getting into the wall. So thankfully, hold on to P7. Um, if I were to run my all-time best there, it would have been fourth. But kind of hard to just go out there and hit your best time ever, of course. So I'm, I'm content with that. I just hope it's a good race. No cautions. As usual in late model, let me make sure I've got my settings how I want. I turn my brakes down a little bit just in case we need them later. And 10 to 1 steering ratio for finer control. Line up on the inside. Pit road is More closed. responsive wheel. Session last lap. And have our fast repair ready in case we need it. So hopefully <laughs> get some good race experience in here. Uh, I hope it's not a huge mess. It's weird. It seems like these late model races are either usually great, great races, um, or they're complete disasters. <laughs> it seems like there's not usually much in between. But again, limited experience here, so... We'll see how this one goes. P7. The track temp is 18. Yeah, the temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Follow car number 50 zero, laps. That's nine, pretty quick. In the inside column. 15 second laps and 50 laps. Seems really quick to me, but. These races usually aren't too long anyway. 
wonder if uh, Nick set up his championship on purpose to be the same, to be the, essentially the late model schedule. He probably did. I think he said he was going to set up the Arca season for season one that one day. Go, so that could be what he has done. Second gear looks like. Get ready, going green. Get ready, Eight car is off, be ready. Go, green green flag, green flag. Ah, it drifts up maybe a little bit there. That was interesting. I drift up maybe a little bit almost. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Certainly want to be on this inside line, that's for sure. Still there. Hold your line. Use the brakes since I have to hold the bottom line here. And I don't get to take the perfect Slow angle into the corner. Clear outside. Go high. So the car down low makes me nervous. Clear. You've just done a 14.4. A little wide on exit. We're okay. What a fucking bonehead move. There's a car exit in the car stop the head. Car stop down low. Car stop down low. What we got coming up? I'm scared. I'm getting bumped from behind. Oh boy. Guy's driving on the preferred line. What is this person doing? Lap car causing huge chaos. What is going on? Jesus. Outside, clear. Car outside, clear. Oh, by that. Clear high. Everything was fine until that lap car was taking the bottom line. So, thanks to them for that. Somehow we're okay right now after everything happened. Everything ever that ever existed happened at once. Okay, I'm just switching here. Is this five car damage or something? Do I have to go around him on the outside? What's going on here? Go low. Keep low. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Hey. It's getting a little bit tighter. I can't even take him. Oh god. Oh, okay. That's scary. Can't even take a moment to like look who's on the lead lap and who's not. That was our 14.4. Oh, got tight. Half expected him to dive it in there. I am overdriving. Your last lap time was at 14.5. Guy's there, I'm gonna let him take it. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. He's so I was hoping to hear. Oh, uh, that guy stuck his nose in. Got it. Clear. Car inside. It's fine. Go on then. Still there. Clear. Alright. I'm okay with that. We got room behind us now. No reason to get stuck on outside. That's going to be a losing battle no matter what. So, file in as soon as possible. And uh, regroup, because that was pretty intense. We are in eighth. All I said was a top ten, so. Although I think there's only like 14 people in here, aren't there? Not very many, so I guess maybe top ten was a little bit too easy of a goal. I don't know how many people are in here.
But we got clean track now, which does help. Though I don't think I'm going any faster than anybody. Seems like we're all just about the same speed. Eleven misses the bottom there. Your lap times are improving. This is exactly what we need. Hmm. I wonder if you can use a little bit of the apron to get it turned. I'm not sure. Was there 14.5? Tried to pitch it a little bit there. Didn't really work. Hmm. Seems like everybody's just going about the same speed, to be honest. Once everything got sorted out, now everything's gone very single file, it looks like. Good consistency. Mm, got too low there. I'm trying things, but that one immediately became obvious was not good. A little wide on exit. Halfway home, we've got plenty of fuel. Your last lap time was at 14.6. Hmm. Maybe use a little bit brake, see how that turns out. That was at 14.6. Okay. Maybe it's placebo, but that seems to be working. Using just a tiny, tiny bit. This car slow down. I got on the gas too early there. The gap to Cox ahead is now 0.8. Car stopped up high. Uh oh, who is it? What's going on? Go low. I did not even see anything. Probably just a lap car though. We are still P8. All right, so approaching 20 to go. This isn't too bad. Once all the chaos kind of ended at the start, everyone kind of figured it out. I think everybody kind of ended up where they deserved to be on speed, too. At least uh, from my view, it looks that way. That lap time was 14.6. Hmm. Yeah, I just gotta kind of hope for a mistake, I guess. From the guy ahead. Otherwise, I don't think I'm catching anybody. Got on it pretty early there. Yeah, nothing much going on. Looks like this is probably how things gonna end. Maybe we got some people battling closer to the front. Maybe they'll wreck each other trying to get the win or something. a little bit of wall ahead of us, it looks like. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Looks like they must have gotten it going, I guess. I don't see anybody. Ooh, getting dizzy. <laughs> These short tracks, man. 
Just going in circles. I mean, I guess we're always going in circles. It's called oval racing for a reason, but... That lap was a 14.7. Like so tight like this. Feels like I'm spinning. Higher entry there, that didn't really do much for me. Well, we got kind of a runoff, but didn't really go. make up for the just entry. I don't know, man. A little bit bland at the end here, but I guess there was enough excitement at the start to make up for <laughs> the second half of the race. Got on it a little early. Pushed near the wall. Am I at 0x? I think I somehow avoided... No, I got 4x. I don't remember how. Somewhere in that mess, I got a 4x. Oh, we got someone behind us. Catching up. That's not good. I thought I was in, in the clear. Guess I gotta go. Pay attention to what I'm doing here. to the end of this thing now. Okay, Colton, push now. How much Catch do you want? Oh, too much longer. Or we'll be able to just go and review this thing. That last lap was at 14.7. I'm scared this guy's gonna reach me and decide that he wants to plow through me. I don't know the guy, but Hope he doesn't want eighth place Come that bad. Two left to go. Two to go. Two laps left. You've just done a fourteen point seven. White flag this time. Outside. Getting hit outside. for the last. Inside. Clear. Car inside. Jerk. Low car up high. Still there. Uh, Clear. 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 I really thought you guys could have worked outside if you guys back me. So there we get another 4x. For what reason? I don't understand. <sighs> anyway, 8th place. I mean, I didn't even get a, get Hold a the guy job. off, get an extra 4x. That's pretty good. <laughs> he was digging. That 12 car was hanging on. Could have wrecked you, but he, I didn't. He was doing it like, like to a point where you almost, almost couldn't pass it. Okay. Yeah, well, I think he just wanted to stay in his lead lap. But he was going, going pretty, pretty good. good. So not only did you yeah, fail yeah, to get the good. spot, but you've made an enemy who's going to race you hard like next time. You really came out on top on that one. <laughs> I don't get it. So I was hoping he would, uh... Oh, I wish I had a couple more laps on the end on you guys. Anyway, incidents. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Good one. Yeah, were you the one that got turned early? Whoever got turned early on, I feel bad for them. Seen self spinning. Yeah, it was the number four. Dive bomb. Oh, look who it is. I'm just, I'm trying to get I rating back. I've lost like 600 I rating in however long. It takes one person to ruin races for people. It really does. Oh yeah, I need to go back and look at that. How? Yeah, that's probably where I got the 4x right there, I guess, huh? Goes in and checks up so hard. 
ran into the back of him, unfortunately. This whole this whole <laughs> time was a big cluster. Well, it's fine that you came up like that. Just you like hits the brakes right in front of me. Yeah, Look at bad. this. <laughs> a moron. So we're coming up here. I didn't mean to turn you after he turn, the takes a three you wide on the eight, apron. Nine is career. still just parking it. We got a thirteen up in the wall. No, it's fine. It's just a race for you. And then what happens to the guy up here? So after his little apron move. Fourteen's not happy at it for uh not happy with him. Probably because of his stupid move. <laughs> Nine turns down into him. This guy probably has a history. It's probably all these people already hate this guy. You wonder why it happens. Sometimes you get worried about the long-term gains and not the short-term gains. Okay, you can wreck somebody for one position, finish 7th instead of 8th, and then get wrecked in your next four, because you've made everybody on the service mad. Like, that's not very smart, is it? Anyway, just some wall hits there. It did seem like it calmed down in the second half. Don't even know why we're seeing some of this. Oh. What was that? Was he trying to go in the pits and then just missed? Is that like not a real exit? Why did he bounce off like that? Like a fake wall. That's weird. Yeah, I don't think that's a real exit. I think because the pits are down here, I think that's just an invisible wall. And he thought that was real pits, I guess. Kind of just running over each other, like, what is, is that the leader, maybe? Yeah, okay, that's the leader getting stuck behind a lap car, and it looks like he had a lot of patience with him that he didn't. Shouldn't have had to have, so he eventually had to do what he needed to do. So, having a little context of there matters. Like, get out of the way of the leader. <laughs> and there's this guy just running into me for multiple laps. Like, I could have wrecked you, but okay, am I supposed to be thankful? Get on my knees and thank you? Like, make a pass cleanly, how about that? But probably not talented enough to do that. So he has to run into the back of someone, which takes no talent at all. It just takes a heavy right foot. Yeah, never even tried. Like, okay. Whatever. Anyway, that's a P8. Kind of just finished right where around where we started. Around seventh, lost a spot. Thought we were doing okay at the start there until that lap car was on the bottom. I wonder if it was that 12 car at the start. A lap down right at the beginning that caused a big problem. Oh, it was a 14, I guess. Like, get out of the way, man. <laughs> Why would you park it on the apex of the corner? And not only that, but also come up in this lane to scare the nine, which causes me to lose all these positions. Causes everyone to go all over the place. Like, he's still not even able to hold his line. All over the place.
but that's that. Um, some real dunderheads in this one, but hey, thankfully we'll probably have some smarter, more respectful racers in the league race. That's what that's so great about that, right? <laughs> Got some practice and uh, finished right in the middle of the field. Uh, 16 people, so I guess top 10's not so bad. It's all about getting experienced. And uh, I knew I could have done a little bit better, maybe, had I not uh, got shuffled back. Who knows? That was kind of slow. <laughs> but that'll do it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.